Welcome to Mediogre Gaming, and today we're playing Deep Rock Galactic. Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm Zero. Well, let's get to it. Alright, so today we're doing the deep dive, codenamed Madman's Grave. But before we get to that, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and ring that bell to be notified of all future episodes as soon as they go live. Alright, so let's get into it. So, as you're aware, the Deep Dive is a three-stage foray into Hoxies in a raid-like environment where you can play uh, alone or with up to three other players. And there is matchmaking, so you don't have to have three friends that also play Deep Rock Galactic as well. So the first stage has Parasites as the modifier, and you have to collect seven Aquarks and 150 more kite. Now, unlike normal assignments, you have to do both the primary and secondary instead of the secondary being optional. With that in mind, you're going to go through, pick up these aquarks, uh, which you see as kind of glowing blue bits on the wall. Dig into the wall, there'll be a glowing spot grab that aquark and then put it into the rig. The rig is armed, uh, but don't expect too much out of it. Now, parasites, of course, mean that all the bugs have a parasite within them. When you kill the bug, the parasite comes out and starts attacking you. So make sure that you take care of not just the bugs, but the parasites as well. Now work with your team uh, to get all the Aquarks. Make sure that you're looking around the map, uh, looking for the Aquarks. Uh, now, ordinarily, in a deep dive, uh, if it says there's seven Aquarks that you have to get, there's only seven Aquarks. Uh, in this particular case, we actually had eight Aquarks on the map. So, you know, it, it's, it's just a, a bit of luck whether you have seven or eight uh, available that means you don't have to scour the map and look around to look at just the right angle to find that seventh and last aquark that is uh, available on the map now while you're doing the more kite and the aquarks you're also going to be looking out for nitra and gold deposits as well nitra will let you call in resupply pods uh, so that you don't run out of ammo. And additionally, of course, uh, if you're low on health, getting a resupply will help with that as well. So make sure that you are getting the Nitra especially, but also the gold, because the gold will increase the number of credits that you get at the end of the deep dive. So make sure you get both. And you may be saying that you don't really need uh, gold at the moment. However, let me assure you, you most definitely want gold whenever you can get it. So if you have the opportunity to get gold, do it. Now, idea. make sure that you're communicating There's with your point. team. So whether you're on the mic or using your laser pointer, uh, point out points of interest and of course uh, you know point out gold veins and whatnot uh, that will that maybe only the scout can get and then of course work as a team to get those uh, gold veins and nitra quarks etc uh, so that you can move on now once you have all the morkite and the aquarks you can call in the drop pod and you will have to wait for a minute or so uh, before it shows up, but once it shows up, it'll open up and you can get out. And that's it for stage one. Now it's important to note that if you have a problem uh, somewhere along the way uh, where you're still holding on to nitro or gold, you can go ahead and get on the drop pod and then deposit it in the next round. So you don't have to worry about it unless it's stage three. And then of course, uh, go ahead and put it on the side of the drop pod uh, just so you can maximize the amount of experience and gold that you get as a reward. 
All right. So hopefully you didn't have to call in a resupply drop uh, for that first stage because the rest of the deep dive, you're going to need it. Now in the second stage, you have two alien eggs that you have to collect and protect the drill dozer. So much like a normal escort mission, you have to get the drill dozer from the starting point to the armor and heartstone, and then get the uh, drill, the arm, armor and heartstone and get out. Unlike a normal assignment, you also have two alien eggs that you have to find and extract and put into the mule for whatever reason. So make sure that you're going through. Uh, you can check your terrain scanner. That'll show the location of those eggs, uh, but it won't really show anything else other than, uh, you know, the other other players, uh, Molly, the drill dozer, etc. So there are some things on there, but not everything's on there. And as I said before, it's always important to communicate with your team. I'll let you know, let them know what you're doing. They can let you know what they're doing. Uh, and then, of course, pointing out things that you're going to or that you need help with uh, such as a vein of gold that's hard to get to that only a gunner with a zip line or the scout can get to easily uh, the other thing is that make sure that you're aware that everything carries over from one stage to the next so your gold your nitra if you've not spent your nitra it'll carry over into the next stage with the drill dozer you're gonna have to stop you're gonna have to uh, refill the fuel before you can move on to the next part and then you'll eventually get to the heartstone and we'll go ahead and speed it up uh, just so you can see it but it's just like a regular escort mission you have four stages that you have to drill through each stage is slightly different after the first stage where you just have swarms of enemies the second stage you start having these meteors basically that come over and get dropped on the drill dozer to try and take it out you gotta get those plus the bugs and then on the last segment or fourth segment you have these lasers that pop up from the ground that you have to take care of. So work with your team to take out the bugs, protect the drill dozer, and repair when necessary. Uh, and then, of course, obviously, call in resupplies when you need it. Although you will need it, you know, you, although you will need resupplies for the next stage, hopefully you're going to be leaving the second stage with more nitra than you started off with. And that, that's kind of the key. Uh, you don't want to get 80 nitra and then call on a resupply and then go on to the next mission. You want to get, you know, maybe 90, not call on a resupply, or maybe you have 160 and call on one resupply. If you have that, you know, buffer of at least one resupply pod, that, that's always a good thing. Uh, once you have the Amran Heartstone attached to the back of the mule, then you're ready to go and get out. Uh, make sure that you get those alien eggs either before you start the drill dozer or as you're going along. And as you're going along, do make sure to have at least one person guarding the drill dozer or if you see that it's starting to get damaged, make your way back to help out. Once you call on the drop pod, just make your way back to it. Uh, hopefully it won't be in a difficult location for you. Uh, sometimes they like to put them up on the, the edge of a cliff or some such uh, where it's a little bit more difficult to get back to, uh, but hopefully 
it'll be relatively straightforward for you. Uh, they do like to put them down in obscure locations. Uh, try to reserve your ammo if possible, uh, but if you are way ahead of the mule, then you're going to have some fight uh, that you're going to have to deal with. So just realize that that is coming. For the most part, you can run away from the fight, uh, but once you get to the drop pod, enemies are going to be popping up around the drop pod, and you're going to have to, uh, you know, kite them or fight them. All right, once the mule is docked, door will open, and you're ready for stage three. So stage two... Uh, was a little bit harder than stage one, but really not too bad. And now we're ready for stage three, the final stage of the deep dive for the week. And this one has you taking on one dreadnought and doing a full salvage mission with three mini mules. So, this one, of course, you will need at least a bare minimum of one resupply, and probably more than that. Now, with my team, we had just hordes of enemies coming at us. Once we got to the main chamber, or the chamber that has the... Uh, the derelict drop pod on it that we have to repair. So be on the lookout for uh, both the audio and visual cues so that you know when you're getting close to one of the mini mules they kind of pulse with the light but they also beep. Uh, so if you have clear line of sight you'll be able to see them from a good distance away. If you cannot, you will at least be able to hear them and know when you're getting close. Uh, scan them, find out where those body parts are that got ripped off somehow, and then reattach them, and then once you have those attached, you can repair it and move along to the next part. Now, the modifier for this final stage is Shield Disruption. So you won't have a shield, so hopefully you chose to have the perk on your armor that gives you more health rather than uh, more shields or faster shield regen. I don't remember exactly what it is. So you have the choice between different perks on both weapons and armor and traversal tools, etc. Uh, so when you go into the deep dive, if you know what's coming, then you can prepare uh, a little bit more adequately. If you don't, it's not a huge deal, but you might have a little bit harder time uh, if you did know what was going on instead. So once you take out the Dreadnought and you get all three mini mules, then you can recall them back to the drop pod and then start working on the last bits that you have to deal with, which is you have to restore the uplink, you have to refuel the pod, and then you have to wait for the pod to power up, and then you can get out. And then that is the end of the deep dive. Now, if you do happen to go down and your whole team goes down at any point, stage one, two, or three, what will happen is you'll fail You'll get the rewards for the stages that you completed, but you will have to start from the very beginning again. So you'll have to, even if you're at this end of stage three, you'll have to go back and do stage one and two, and then do stage three again to get that last reward. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check us out on social media, and thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you next time. Supplies are on the way. Supply pod launched. Better stand back. I ordered a resupply. Supply drop has been ordered and is on the way. 
Onboard mainframe booting. Time to restock! Calculating orbital trajectory. Let's stick together for a Ready to kill some Getting more ammo! Powering radiation shielding. Bug trap 2.0! Hit it! Platform! Ecom operational. Getting more ammo! Never felt better! Heart thrusters calibrated. Ammo stick, stick, and noise! Drop on powered up and ready to leave. It's time to bring it all home. Get on board, we're leaving with or without you. Battle's gonna be a sober occasion! Get nice and sticky, boom! We are unbreakable! Fire grenade! Good work. We're pulling you back in. Right back! Rocket go! Solid! 